this phone beat this phone to Android 15, which is really interesting because Google makes Android, right? Well, I've got in my hands the Vivo 200, uh, X200 Pro. It just came out today, Android 15. So they've got their own version of Android skinned over it, Origin OS, Android 15, which is just crazy. Uh, and you can see this down at the bottom. Let me oh, change the brightness. So yeah, Android 15, which is going to be, a, there we go, Android 15, versus Android 14 on the Pixel 9 Pro XL, which is crazy to me. Now, it's going to be a completely different experience. I know like Google has a lot of stuff they're doing with their Pixel phones, a lot of the AI stuff, a lot of their own you know features and stuff you're not going to see on this phone. Maybe that's what makes it easier. Android 15 seems to be problematic with these lengthy delays on getting them launched. Android 15 is speculated it coming out on October the 15th, which is tomorrow, or if you're watching, well, based on the time this comes out, yeah. So tomorrow, we'll see if that actually comes true. If it does, of course, I'll make a video about that. But today is today, and I've got this fully launched flagship level phone over here in China. Of course, it's got other regions that they will in too. They should have a global unit coming out probably not too long. But the phone itself running Android 15, and this phone is crazy. So listen to this. It's got the Dimensity, MediaTek Dimensity 9400 in it, which is a octa-core processor, 3.626 gigahertz. That is insane. The Tensor G4 and the Pixel 9 Pro XL is clocked at 3.15. So this phone is half a gigahertz faster than the Pixel phone, and it's even faster than the S24 Ultra, which has the Snapdragon for Samsung program, which is like clocked at, I believe, 3.36 gigahertz, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, that's a pretty meaningful difference. And there's been some huge updates when it comes to the GPU, neural core, all that stuff. So MediaTek's doing some great things. 16 gigabytes of RAM. I have the one terabyte of storage model, 6,000 milliamp battery. So 6,000, that's a lot. And it's crazy, because look how thin this phone is. I mean, it's got a big camera, <laughs> big camera thing on the back but the phone is about the same maybe a little bit the body a little bit thinner than the pixel 9 pro xl a whole thousand extra milliamps in there and basically it's the same case for the s24 ultra as well so i thought that was really interesting some of the crazy stuff they're doing over here and i've always said that for years and it's funny because when you take a look at the camera stuff i'm fairly certain the camera hardware in the vivo x200 pro is probably better than what you get with the Pixel, but the Pixel, of course, they do all Google's computational photography and camera wizardry stuff with the software. They've always relied more heavily on that than hardware, but every year when you look at the, uh, whatever it's called, DxO mark scores, the Vivos are always way up there. Like the Vivos are widely regarded as just about the best hardware cameras you can get in the game. Finally happy that they, well, they didn't send it to me. They flew me all the way out here. So I'm currently in Beijing, which take a look at this. Yeah, so <laughs> let me change this over here. I'm uh, in Beijing right now uh, in, in a hotel, and they flew me out here for this. So big thanks to Vivo for that. Uh, and I've been able to play around with the phone for the last day. So let me get back over here where you can see a little bit better. But I thought you'd <laughs> enjoy seeing that real quick. So, yeah, it's just some neat stuff. Uh, but, of course, the big topic conversation for this video was, let me reframe my camera. That, yeah, Android 15, that's pretty impressive whenever you have a phone that beats the maker of Android to coming out with a new software update. And I, I'm still messing around with this. Uh, I can't really talk to about a lot of the features because, one, a lot of them are not available on this phone. And, two, they won't be available on the Google phone until Android 15 finally rolls out for that. But, yeah, uh, big kudos to Vivo for doing that. It's a really cool phone. And I've taken quite a few pictures with it already outdoors. I'm going to take some more out. I'll have like a whole day of shooting in a couple of days. So if y'all want to see like Pixel 9 Pro XL versus Vivo X200 Pro and kind of want to see what that looks like as far as a camera comparison, let me know. I might do that. And I might do a vlog. Like I've got some time in a couple of days. I might do a vlog before I leave out of here. But one other thing is I'm actually going to Tokyo from here. I'm going to be in Tokyo for four days. So I will be shooting a vlog this week. And whether that's in China or whether that's in Tokyo or whether it's a combination of both. Uh, Y'all let me know what you want to see and I'll see if I can do it. I'm, once I go to Tokyo, I'm going to go places like Tokyo Tower. I'm going to try and go to the Emperor's Palace. I want to go see Mount Fuji. So that might be neat. We'll see what goes on there. I'm kind of limited just where I can travel here and trying to do the, the type of visa that I'm here on. Um, but yeah, anyway, I thought it was interesting and I wanted to talk about it because who doesn't like new phone stuff, right? It's kind of exciting. We're in the lull between Apple and well, Apple's iPhones and a lot of new Android phones that came out, the Pixels. But these two right here, 
definitely represent about the best you can get when it comes to the smartphone camera game. And then, yeah, this is leading the pack right now. Like Samsung's not even getting Android 15 until January when the S25 comes out. That's when it's marked to come out. So we're going to be well ahead of that for months with the Vivo phone. And then the Pixel phone, it might be tomorrow, but it should be sometime this month. That's even speculation, but we'll see how that goes in regard to Android 15 coming out. But I, I just wanted to, one, make a video and talk about that because I thought it was interesting. And when I fired it up, I'm like, this feels a little bit different. And I went in and I, I went into the settings real quick to go see some of the stuff. I'm like, wow, Android 15 already. Like, I knew it had come out on some of the phones that were already out. But since this one is just launching, I didn't realize it was going to launch with Android 15. So I think that that's really cool. Android 15, Dimensity 9400. Like, there's a lot of firsts when it comes to this phone. I think this is the first phone launched with Android 15. And then it's also the first phone launched with the Dimensity 9400. And it'll be really cool to see what it can do as far as gaming. Like the GPU is supposed to be massively upgraded. The CPU, we already see that at three point, over 3.6 gigahertz. That's just crazy in the talking. And then 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I have the maxed out version. Of course, I've got the, the one terabyte of storage. But this phone, a serious beast. Like a serious, serious beast whenever it comes to that stuff. So um, I'll see what I can do later about trying to get some of my games and stuff on here to test it out. But yeah, let me know what y'all think whenever it comes to the vlog stuff, if y'all want to see that. And let me know what other content that you want to see uh, while I'm out and about because I'll be traveling. I'll be recording from my hotel for the next couple of days. I'll be here in China a couple of days. I'll be in Tokyo for several days. And uh, the Tokyo seat is, is, Tokyo trip is all about sightseeing here in China, here for business, here for work, here to check out the new Vivo X200 Pro. Again, big thanks to them for bringing me out here. This is the first time I've been here. I had some McDonald's this morning. That was pretty cool. <laughs> um, and I showed off some of those pictures in my like unboxing, initial impressions, kind of initial review video. But anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about that stuff because, hey, uh, a lot of people here watch my channel for the Google Pixel stuff. Y'all are all waiting for Android 15 and it's here. <laughs> it's just not on the Pixel phone yet. Samsung's not getting it till like January and who knows when the other phones are going to get it. I, I don't know what seems to be the holdup. But it seems to be a pretty big holdup because the Google Pixel 9, of course, has been out over a month. It couldn't even launch with it. And now we're seeing delays with other manufacturers. Normally, like we'd probably even have like a OnePlus one out by now. It's not even here. So there's quite a few phones that historically will be pretty close on the Android 15 train, if not already. And it ain't here. So Vivo, I don't know what they did. I don't know if they, <laughs> I don't want to imply anything. I was going to make a joke about paying off Google, but certainly they didn't do anything like that. But it's just interesting to me. I think it has to do a lot with how the OSs are actually set up because if you look at One UI, they're making a big jump to One UI 7. It's supposed to be a big change with Android 15. They're changing the user interface and they're making it different. And there's a lot of skinning, a lot of customization that goes into that, a lot of stuff with the AI implementation, a lot of AI feature updates. So I understand One UI taking longer. Google, I kind of felt like it should have been here when the Pixel came out, but hey, Android 14 has been a great experience. It's been smooth. It's been solid. We haven't had any problems with it. So I, I prioritize smooth launch, smooth operating phone over just rushing to get something out. So I'm fairly certain Android 15 will look pretty good and be pretty polished once we get it. Maybe tomorrow, that'd be cool. But right now, the Vivo X200 Pro sitting at the top of the pile saying, hey, I've got Android 15 uh, and you guys don't. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions, comments, gripes, concerns, complaints, all that stuff, go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed this video, if you found this stuff helpful, hit the like and the subscribe button, little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And also, like I said, let me know about the vlog stuff. Y'all always ask for it every time I travel, even though nobody watches them, like, you know, 48 of y'all. I made one at the Berlin Zoo with the Pixel 9 Pro XL just a couple of weeks ago. So definitely check that one out. But I get a lot of feedback. A lot of people really like the vlog videos. So let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do for you all to try and make a good, fun, meaningful video. So that's all I got. As always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next time.